And I'm going to share my screen with you all. And uh, as I said, the, the topic is all about uh, roughing, sometimes roughing in both hands, sometimes just roughing in one hand. Um, and if you decide to rough just in one hand, how to choose the hand. So let's start off with this hand here. This was actually played some years ago. And most people who played it ended up in four spades. If you open one spade, West might over call two clubs, your partner bids two diamonds. And then if you rebid two spades, you'll probably end up in four spades. And let's suppose West leads the ace of clubs. And you can see you're immediately in a bit of trouble because you've got three club tricks you're looks like you're going to lose straight away. Um, so have a look at this hand and see what your plan is on this hand. The opponents start off by taking their club tricks, the ace, the king, and the queen. And let's suppose after they've taken those tricks, you obviously can't afford to lose any more tricks. Let's suppose they play a diamond. So you're going to win this diamond. And I've got the first pole of the afternoon, which is after you've won this first trick, either with the king or the ace, uh, which suit are you going to play next? So the opponents have taken three clubs. They play a diamond. When you win this trick, uh, trick four with a diamond, which suit are you going to play next? So I'm going to launch a poll for that in a moment. You've chosen. And most of you have gone for hearts with... Uh, 21% uh, going for diamonds and 21% going for spades. Well, let's have a look at this. We've lost three tricks. We can't afford to lose any more. And it seems we, if we try to work out our potential losers, we're not going to lose any spades. We're not going to lose any diamonds because we've got the ace and king. But we have a heart we're going to lose. And once you see that, I hope it's clear that you need to delay drawing trumps until you've roughed a heart. You expect trumps to fall in three rounds here. So you could, if you like, draw two rounds of trumps and then play the hearts. But you really, the, the gist of this hand is that you need to play the heart. So it's probably best to win this one with the, uh, with the king of diamonds and then play hearts. You're gonna start by winning in the shorthand with the ace play the king, and then play a third round of hearts. Um, there's obviously a small chance it could be over roughed. You could rough high here with the ace or the jack. Um, uh, but whatever you play, you'll, you'll, you'll win that one, you'll rough that one. And, um, and now that's it. Now you just want to draw trump, so you might play the ace, might play the jack. Again, you could overtake this one, or... You could uh, play a diamond to get back to your hand and then you'll draw the remaining trump and make your 10 tricks there. Um, so this was a relatively straightforward one. Um, those of you who decided to play diamonds, there really is nothing to be gained by playing diamonds here. Um, it, 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 if you're thinking of maybe playing diamonds so you could start roughing diamonds, that really is a mistake. And the most straightforward way to make this is just to delay drawing trumps and rough one heart um, in dummy. When this hand was played, which was some time ago before lockdown, actually no one made four spades on it. Um, the best score was someone who made three spades, but everyone who played it in game went down here. So I think this was a very straightforward hand and you just need to realize that you have an extra loser to that you need to rough. I think some people, when they're playing a hand like this, they get very despondent because the opponents start off cashing the ace, king, queen of clubs, and you realize there's not much you can do about that. Um, and uh, you know, maybe they don't, they think, oh, I need to draw trumps. But if you if you draw trumps right away, it will take three rounds, and then you'll be left with a heart loser at the end. Do trump if you have any questions about this. Let's have a look at this hand here where 
you've opened a club, your partner bit a diamond, you rebid a spade, and your partner jumped to four spades. And the opponents on this one lead um, a heart. And you might stop to start making a plan on this hand. I want to ask you a question, which I don't normally ask in a suit contract, but how many top tricks have you got? If you were playing this, for example, in no trump, how many top tricks have you got? I'm going to launch a poll on that in a moment. I hope this one was very straightforward. And virtually everyone has gone for eight. One person saying nine. And yes, you have eight top tricks here. You have four spades, uh, two hearts, one diamond and one club. So you have eight top tricks. And indeed, if you um, just were to win and draw all the trumps, four rounds of trumps, you, you would just make eight tricks. But this hand is the kind of hand where you can make many more tricks by roughing. And you actually have the perfect two hands to cross rough um, because we've got a shortage in diamonds, a shortage in clubs. And our goal on this hand should actually be to cross rough the diamonds and the clubs. And by making individual trumps, uh, tricks with each trump separately, you could make, instead of four trump tricks, you could actually make eight if you could score a trick with every trump. Um, also on this hand, you have quite good trumps in both hands. You've only got the three is a low one in the north hand and the six five in the south hand. So if we can get away with roughing those, we'll end up with just high trumps and the opponents won't be able to over rough. So this is a hand where I'm going to cross rough. And I find that cross roughing is one approach that comes to most players very readily. Um, so I'm going to maybe start by playing the ace of diamonds, roughing uh, low to start with, and then maybe playing the ace of clubs and roughing uh, club to start with. And then we'll continue roughing. Um, we have to do one more thing on a hand like this, which is if we have any side tricks, and here we've got the king of hearts is still a trick, we should take that early on. So either before you start roughing or before you get too far into the roughing, because what we're going to do on this hand is never draw trump. So we must uh, cash any side winners we have uh, uh, before we uh, complete the cross roughing. And at this point, I hope you can see you've just got high trump in both hands. So you can't be over rough. So we can just rough the club, rough the diamond, rough the club, rough the diamond, and rough the last club. And at the end, we've got a heart loser, which opponents will rough, but we'll make 12 tricks then. So we basically, instead of making just four trump trick, we made eight trump trick by uh, using the trumps to rough separately with. And um, that was uh, that was sort of great fun when you can do that, um, especially when you're roughing at the end, the opponents can't over up you if you've just got high trump left. Let's have a look at um, another one. This time you open a club. So here you've got that four, 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 one hand, and it's normal to open the suit below the singleton with three non-touching suits. Your partner bids a diamond, you bid a heart, and your partner jumps to four hearts. So the opponents lead the king of clubs on this hand. And I'd like you to try and make a plan about how you're going to play this hand. And I'm going to give you some uh, options to choose from. And the options are, are you going to uh, do what you did on the last hand and cross rough the clubs and the diamonds? Are you going to just maybe rough diamonds in your hand? Or are you going to rough clubs in dummy? Or are you going to draw trumps first, draw three rounds of trumps? So those are the options I'm going to give you. And here comes a poll. And the question is, what is your plan on this hand?
We've got a very uh, even spread there. Um, drawing Trumps first was the most popular, but there's uh, support for all the other um, options there. So let's um, have a look and uh, see what we think about this. Well, let's look at the hands from our own hands point of view and work out how many potential losers we have. So if you look at it from South's, hand point, of, South's point of view, but taking into account all the strength in North, I'm not expecting to lose any spades. I'm not expecting to lose any hearts. I'm not expecting to lose any diamonds. I've got the ace. Um, but I have three club losers. So um, one thing you could plan to do is to rough the clubs in dummy. Or you can look at this from North hand, North's point of view, where you have no spade losers, no heart losers, no club losers, but you have three diamond losers, which you could hope to avoid by roughing three times in the south hand. What you cannot do on this hand is what we did on the other hand, which was to cross rough um, clubs and diamonds. Because if we aim to cross rough clubs and diamonds, as using the approach last time, we will deplete our trumps and we won't be able to draw the opponent's trumps. What's different on this hand compared to the last one is that we have four spade tricks we would like to take and we will never be able to make four spade tricks unless we draw the opponent's trumps. Um, on the previous hand, you only had two side, two tricks in the side suit to take, but here to take four spades, we have to draw trumps. So on this hand, we are going to use one hand primarily to draw trumps and use the other hand to rough losers. And either approach, either roughing diamonds in your own hand or roughing clubs in dummy is a viable solution. Those of you who picked one of those are right, but you cannot really aim to do both. Also, if you plan to draw trumps first, although you can do that, you will end up, uh, it will take three rounds to draw the opponent's trumps, and you will only be able to rough once in that case. So you'd probably end up with two club losers. But we can do better by either roughing clubs in dummy or roughing diamonds in our hand, but not both. So let's see how it goes. Let's suppose we decide, as they've led a club, to um, continue with clubs and rough a club. So our plan here is to rough the uh, clubs in dummy. So we'll start by roughing low. And we want to rough a total of three clubs. So we want to rough twice more. So we can actually come back to our hand with a spade that's fairly low risk and rough another club uh, in dummy, okay? And if we've got that far, now there's just one more club to rough, and we need to get back to our hand in order to do that. Now, how can we do that? Well, you could try to get back by playing the ace of diamonds and roughing a diamond. Now, I'm not, although I'm cross roughing here, I'm not roughing diamonds in order to make extra tricks. I'm just roughing to get back to my hand so that now I can play my last club and rough that in dummy. And once I've done that, I now just want to draw the remaining trump. So I want to maybe cash the ace of hearts. There's still a trump out. And to get back to my hand, I'm going to try to get there with uh, a king. And if that succeeds, I can now draw the remaining trump. And I've got the last two spades as well. So played that way, I can make... 13 tricks, barring some horrible distribution, I can make 13 tricks. And you can either do it by aiming to rough three clubs in dummy or aiming to rough three diamonds in your hand, but you cannot do both. So if I rough the clubs in dummy, what I'm doing is making south the master hand, and I'm trying to keep the trumps here in the south hand to draw the opponent's trumps while I use three trumps in dummy to rough the clubs. And played that way, you can make 13 tricks on this one. In fact, if I go back to the beginning and click on the GIB button, 
you can see the computer is saying that the best lead for the defense is actually a trump. If they lead a trump, then I can only make two over tricks, but on any other lead, I can make all 13 tricks. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on that. And let's have, have a look. Have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Go. Trumps, or, yeah. Your yeah. or your spades would then be good. They would. And you'd still have a trump left in each hand right. to do the roughing. What would that achieve? Well, so if you if you drew trumps first, it would take three rounds. Yes. And then you'd only have one um, trump left in each hand. You'd then so, take all your spades. Yeah. And, but you would still be left with two club losers. Oh, okay. So it, it, it's right to think about drawing trumps. And indeed, when I was playing, as I played this out, I did sort of draw some trumps, um, mainly to get back to my hand. But you make the most number of tricks. You can rough three clubs in dummy or three diamonds in your hand. Either is, is probably equally good here. Any other comments? Any other yes. questions? Yes, please, Tony. Hello, Francis. When you look at a hand like this, would you not consider that you could discard some losers on the good suit? You tell me. Which, which losers are you going to discard on what? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> that's certainly a line of play on many hands, but not here, is it? Because we've got okay. four spades in each hand. Yes. So we, there's nothing to discard. Right. So that's a good thing to look for. Well, yes, that's right. I mean, what what I advise, what I think is a good way of looking at this hand is we're used to looking at this from declarer's point of view, and you know you might immediately see that shortage in clubs and diamonds. You might think, oh, I'm going to cross rough, but you then need to realize if you don't draw trumps, you won't be able to make four spade tricks. So barring horrible distribution you should just get you should be able to make all those tricks if you can rough either three clubs or three diamonds okay thank you let's have a look at another one and um here you open a spade your partner bids two diamonds you rebid two hearts that's how you show five spades and four hearts your partner bids three spades which should be invitational with about 10 to 12 points and you go to four spades and the opponents lead a diamond here, and I'd like you to start off on this one by counting how many potential losers you have. So look at the north and the south hands together. Look at it from the point of view of the south hand, but taking into account all the strength in dummy. And there's a poll coming, which is how many losers do you think, how many potential losers do you think you have here? So don't answer verbally. I'm going to launch that uh, next poll. And the question is, how many losers do you think you have? The feeling if I'd have put up an option for one, I'd have got some votes for that. Um, because the most popular uh, vote was um, tied between two and three. And then some people said four or five. So let's um, switch back and uh, and see what we think. Well, um, in spades, we're expecting to lose one trick. I'm not planning to lose any diamonds because I've got just a singleton opposite the ace and I don't have any club losers. The only other losers I have are uh, two hearts here. And those, so if I count that, uh, I'm gonna count one spade and two hearts as the potential losers. Those of you who thought you might have less, fewer than three losers might be thinking you can rough some in dummy. And indeed, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm planning to do. Looking at the hand, I'm not going to draw trumps, uh, first of all. I'm going to plan to rough two hearts in dummy before I draw trumps. And it's a good idea to think about what you're going to rough with. I think I'll rough the first um heart with the seven of spades and try to rough the last one with the ten of spades which is high it can only be over roughed with the ace so that's my plan on this hand i'm going to delay drawing trumps and plan to rough two hearts in dummy so let's see if i can do that if i can i hope to make 12 tricks here so let's win that first trick and immediately let's switch to hearts 
playing the king and the ace. And let's play another harp, which, as I said, I'm planning to rough this first one with the uh, seven of spades. That's successful. That's great. Now I want to get back to my hand so that I can rough that last heart. Now I can't get back to my hand with a trump because if I play a trump, they can win the ace and they might draw my last trump. So I'm going to instead to get back to my hand with a club. A club is uh, pretty safe. So I get back to my hand with a club and I play my last heart. And I'm planning to rough this one with the 10. On this particular layout, let's suppose West doesn't rough and doesn't um, follow suit, discard. So actually, I know that East has got the last heart, so I can rough high or low. It doesn't really matter. But I've now successfully roughed uh, my heart, two heart losers. Now I'm just going to draw trumps. I'm going to play the 10. I'm going to overtake here because it, otherwise it'd be slightly awkward to continue drawing trumps. And if that wins the trick, I'm going to play another spade. East here discards, so I'm getting a slightly bad trump break. In fact, if I bring up the four hands now, you can see that West has still got two trump, but I'm still going to try and draw them. I'll play another trump. West at some point will take their ace. And if they play a, a diamond here, I can uh, rough that with my last trump and then draw their last trump and make the last two clubs. So played that way, I can make 12 tricks by roughing those two hearts, just losing one trick. And I got a slightly bad trump break, but it wasn't a problem for me. The way I see a lot of people playing um, a hand like this is they may start off winning the ace of diamonds. And then for no reason at all, they play another diamond. They play another diamond um, planning to rough it. And of course, you can rough the diamond, um, but you're not gaining any extra tricks. By roughing diamonds, you're roughing in the master hand. You're roughing in, roughing in the hand with long trumps. And that rarely gains you any extra tricks, except on the examples we looked at before, where you're cross roughing. On a hand like this, it does not gain you at all. And here, because we have a slightly bad trump break of 4 1, you'll see that that rough is going to be uh, cost you a uh, couple of tricks. So let's suppose you, you for some, whatever reason, you rough that diamond, and then you go back to the plan we were on before of playing the ace and king of hearts, playing another heart, which we rough, coming back to our hand with the queen of clubs, playing another heart, and we do as we did before. We, we rough that one, and now we... Uh, go about drawing trumps. We don't know we're going to get a bad trump break here. So we take, um, we play the king. They win the ace, let's suppose. And suppose West now shifts to a diamond. And although we can rough that, what has happened now by roughing two diamonds, we have lost control of trumps. That is to say, West has more trumps than us. We don't know that at this point. But when we go about our business of trying to draw the remaining trumps, East now discards. And now we are, have a problem because we cannot draw that last trump. We've only got one trump left. So whatever we do now, and I can click here on the GIB button, and I think it's saying whatever we do, we're just going to make our contract. So if we play a club, West can rough. They can play a diamond back. And if we want to win that, we have to rough with our last trump and we'll lose the last trick. But played that way, we'll make 10 tricks instead of the 12 tricks we made. Um, and, and we only made the 10 tricks there because we roughed a diamond. So roughing in the hand with a long trump suit is something to be avoided. And it's something I see players do a lot. And sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it doesn't cost a trick. But it rarely gains a trick unless you're roughing for a specific reason. So do not rough in the hand with a long uh, with a long trump suit. Sorry, let me just move that out of the way. Do not rough with a hand with a long trump suit unless you have a good reason. And the good reasons are things like roughing in order to establish a suit, roughing to get back to your hand, or sometimes cross roughing.
but otherwise it rarely gains a trick and it can uh, weaken your trump holding in the long hand and you you may well end up losing more tricks if you if you do that let's have a look at the last hand uh today then um this was one i sent out by email at the weekend where west opens with a week two spades north has got a perfect hand really for doubling and that should show an opening hand with support for the unbid suits and south here um you've got 15 points and your better suit is diamonds but you should probably bid your hearts here rather than diamonds or you'll miss out on your your heart fit here and with more than a minimum hand you've got 15 points you should probably go to four hearts um so you bid four hearts that ends the auction and the opponents lead the king of spades and again i'd like you to look at the two hands consider it from the point of view of the south hand then consider it from the point of view of the north hand and decide on what your uh strategy is going to be on this hand what is declarer's plan going to be on this hand are you going to plan to cross rough in spades and clubs or are you going to rough spades in dummy or are you going to rough clubs in your hand or are you going to draw trumps first? So those are your four options. Have a little think about it. And in a moment, I'm going to launch the last poll. And the question is, what is your plan? And got fairly a uh, split div, uh, answer. 47% uh, went for roughing clubs, 16% for roughing spades, 32 for cross roughing, and one person said, draw trumps first. So uh, let's see what we think. Let, let's consider those possibilities. Well, let's think about the cross rough. Um, if we cross rough um, uh, the, the black suits, the spades and the clubs, although we can do that, we have a problem because we have four diamonds we would like to take. And if we don't draw trumps, and if we weaken our trump holding by roughing in both hands, we won't be able to draw the opponent's trumps. So if instead we look at it from our own hand's point of view, we can see our losers are no clubs, no diamonds, no hearts, and just three spades. So you could plan to rough three spades in dummy. Or if you look at it from North's point of view, the losers are no spades, no hearts, no diamonds, and three clubs. So you could hope to rough three clubs in your own hand. So either on the uh, face of it might work. The problem with roughing spades in dummy though, is that if we want to rough three spades in dummy, we'll have to rough with uh, the six of hearts and then two high trump. And we'll be roughing with high trump and we won't then, we'll only have two high trump left, the ace and the king, in order to draw the opponent's trumps. So this hand, is actually much better if we can get away with it by roughing clubs in your own hand. That means making north the master hand and roughing three times. And I'm planning to rough um, maybe with two low hearts and one high heart. And if I can get away with that, I'll still have three high trump in dummy to draw the opponent's traps. So yes, I agree with the 47% of you, I think it was, who said the best line is to rough clubs in your own hand. So that's what I'm going to do on this hand. I'm going to uh, win that first trick and not draw trumps yet. I'm going to turn my attention to clubs. Cash the ace of clubs. Um, play a club, which will rough the first one low. Now I want to get back to dummy so I can rough again. You can get back here with a high trump. Um, and I want, I've got two more roughs to do. So I'm going to rough one low and one with the A. So let's rough the first one with the four. I want to get back to my hand. So I'm going to do that with the king of diamonds and rough that last club. And I'm roughing that high. And um, that can't be over roughed. Now, if I've succeeded in all that, I've now uh, done all the roughing I want to do. Now I just want to get back to the north hand to draw the last trump 
And there isn't a very convenient way of doing it because I've got no high cards in diamonds, but probably the only way to get there is to play a spade and rough that one to get back to the north hand. Again, you're not doing that to gain extra tricks. You're just doing it to get to the north hand so you can now draw the remaining trumps. And as long as the trumps behave, you'll be able to draw all the trumps and claim uh, all the diamonds as well. So this was the, um, the layout on this hand. And I hope you can see that roughing clubs uh, uh, is the best strategy, and it does actually lead to 13 tricks. Whereas if you tried to rough spades, um, you would have had to be roughing high, and then you may not have had um, enough high trump to avoid losing a trump trick. Anyway, that was it on uh, on this hand. When this hand was played, um, no one made 13 tricks on it. Um, but uh, if you can rough those three clubs, you should be able to make uh, all the tricks there. Anyone have any comments or questions?